Dear listeners, today is Holy Monday, otherwise called the beginning of the Passion of Jesus Christ as he went to the cross. You are welcome to another episode of the Lenten Talk brought to you by the Diocese of Lagos Mainland, Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion. I'm your presenter, Venerable K. Fiono. The topic for today's Lenten Talk is Don't Betray a Good Cause. Don't betray a good cause. Now I'm taking my text from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 14, verses 10 and 11. And it reads, Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went to the chief priests to betray him, that is Jesus, to him. And when they had it, they were glad and promised to give him money. So he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Let us pray. Our gracious Father, open our hearts to the such light of your living word, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the tragic story of Christ's passion on his way to the cross, the role of Judas Iscariot paints a pathetic picture of the nature of man. Man is unreliable. Man is not dependable, except he admits the Holy Spirit into his life. Judas Iscariot was one of the people that Jesus trusted so much and then made him the treasurer of the group. And yet, he did not consider it something outrageous to betray his master. As one of the 12 initial disciples chosen by Jesus Christ, Judas was expected to be fully committed and loyal to his master and to the good cause that Jesus championed in Israel of his time. Yet, for reasons not far from the love of money, he chose the path of self-destruction. In collaboration with the implacable enemies of Jesus Christ, Judas chose to have an innocent man murdered. The word betray as used in the text means to deliver to an enemy by treachery or disloyalty. It is to stand against what is good and to line up with evil and wickedness. Today, we see a lot, of, a lot of that happen in our country, especially on the part of our political leaders who betray the trust that Nigerians have placed in them when they voted for them. Instead of serving the cause and interest of the people, they pillage and rob the public treasury in such a blatant manner that shows nothing but their moral depravity. And now, as the country approaches another general election, these same people, treacherous, dubious, corrupt, are going about time again selling nothing but empty promises, asking us to vote for them. Today, dear listener, I urge you to think about your life. Are you like Judas Iscariot? You politician, you governor, you president, you minister that are listening to me. Are you betraying Jesus again by your conduct, by your action, by your depraved manners? Are you walking in a manner that hurts our country, Nigeria, and that will plunge Nigeria into greater crisis? If you're doing this, dear listener, Jesus calls you to repentance. He wants you to turn away from that path. It may look profitable for now, but inevitably leads to doom and destruction. As the Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is the word of death. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. I want to encourage you to be a friend of Jesus, not his enemy. Be someone who loves and who lives out that love. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you give us the grace to live accordingly. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.